Hi there! So, uh, this is just a really quick video. I'm, I was supposed to make this an exclusive video for those na nasa online learning program. Pero, I figured this can help all of you then. It's a quick fix for word problems. I know that ang struggle usually for word problems is hindi alam ko anong gagawin. And the best advice I could give you is to tagalize it. Basically, tagalugin niyo yung problem para ma-figure out niyo kung ano yung gagawin. In order for me to show you kung paano yung gamitin, I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can show you how. Okay? Okay, we're talking about another technique that I use when it comes to word problems. Ang giant problem kasi pagdating dito is anong klaseng operation ang gagamitin ko, anong gagawin ko given all the information, paano ko makukuha ang sagot. And in order for you to do that, uh, again, ang suggestion ko would be for you to, well, be familiar with formulas, be familiar with everything. Pero kung hindi talaga maintindihan, tagalize it. Ano ibig sabihin? Tagalogin natin yung tanong. Kasi, ang pinaka-barrier usually is yung language. Dahil hindi maintindihan kay dahil English yung tanong, nahihirapan alamin ko ano yung gagawin. So, tatagalogin natin. A classic example of that is this problem. Again, namalabas siya sa exam. Sabi, Sandy went to the bank to deposit coins. She had a huge bag of 10 cent coins. If she told the teller that the bag had 669 pesos in it, how many coins should be there? Now, ang sabi kasi ng teacher sa atin dati, kung ano daw yung given, isusulat. So, you have 669, and then you have 10 cents. 10 cents is 0.10. And then, you need to know how many coins should be there. Yun yung hinahanap. Ngayon, ang tanong na next is, what do we do? Imumultiply ko ba yan? O i-divide? Malamang hindi add, kasi 69.1 lang yan. Malamang hindi din minus. So, it's either one of these two things. Ngayon, whenever I teach this life, I ask my students, ano sa tingin ninyo, i-multiply or i-divide? And usually, when I ask them to raise their hands, nahahati yung kwarto. Some people think i-multiply, some people think i-divide. Now, what do you need to do? That is the problem. Hindi natin alam kung sa natin, sa natin huhugutin yung equation. Now, again, tagalugin na lang natin. Okay? The correct answer kasi here is di-divide mo siya. So, 669 divided by 0 0.10. Ang next problem dito, anong gagawin ko dyan? Paano ko makukuha yung sagot? Paano kung hindi ako runa mag-divide ng may decimal? The thing is, if tatalugin nyo siya, actually, hindi nyo kailangan to eh. Tilan nyo ha? Let me offer this alter alternative. Sabi, si Sandy daw pumunta sa banko, mag-deposit siya ng coins. Ang barya niya, tig-gis. Right? TGG Centimos. Meron siyang 669 na piso. Ano daw ang gagawin ninyo? Ha? Alamin nyo kung ilang Gs meron siya. Ngayon, ang tanong would be this. Ilang Gs mayroon sa piso? Okay? Ngayon, kayo, ilang Gs meron sa isang piso? Di ba alam nyo automatic 10, right? Kasi 10 cents yun eh. Sampung Gs piso. Ngayon, sabi meron siyang 669 na Piso. So, what do you need to do? Do you need to divide? Or, imumultiply na lang natin yung 669 by 10. Bakit 10? Kasi 10 Gs meron sa isang piso. Kung meron kang 669 na piso, ibig sabihin, bawat piso mo yun, may Gs. Okay? May Gs, perasong Gs. So, 669 times 10 na lang. E, di ba mas so dali ito? Kasi 669 times 10 is lalagyan mo lang ng 0 sa dulo. The answer becomes 600, eh, 6,690. Nang ni hindi tayo nagmamath. Ngayon, kahit isolve nyo to, 669 divided by 0.10, yun din naman ang lalabas eh, 6690 din. Pinadali lang natin yung buhay. Okay? Okay? Paano ko to? Sabi, Sandy went to the bank to deposit coins again, 25 cent coins ang dala niya, meron siya 1,852. Okay? So, if you didn't figure it out the first time, you can try it again, hit pause now. Alright, let's see how you did. Okay, again, 1,852. Ang piso niya, meron siyang 20 to 25 cents. Tanong, ilang 25 cents meron sa isang piso? You have 4. So, ibig sabihin, 1,852 times 4. It's going to give us 8, ang last digit. So, again, check nyo na lang sa options. Tapos, kung, kung lahat, tatapos sa 8, kunyari lang. O, di-solve natin. You have 20, 8, 16, 34, 32, 34. Okay? So, we have 7,408. 7,408 pieces ng 25-cent coins. See how fast that is? It's going to take you just a few seconds to solve the problem. Na dating, pag tutuunan natin ng mga 1 to 2 minutes. That's the reason why it's very important kung tatagalugin ninyo yung problem. 
usually kasi ang people, ang thinking nila, merong real world at saka math world. Yung real world is different from the math world. When in fact, in order for you to understand yung math, you have to apply it in real world situations. Praktikala na lang. Kunyari, meron talagang bariya. Imagine nyo na totoo yung nangyayari. That way, hindi kayo masyadong nanervous yung pagdating sa exam. Okay? Now, lumabas ito sa pre-test ninyo this week. And some of you got it wrong. So, I want to give you a chance... Okay, to answer this question. So, hit pause now. Alright, let's see how you did. Sabi si Andrew daw, meron siya 25 cent coins, 3,145 ang total. Again, 3,145, kung ito yung papel ninyo, dito na lang nyo na lang ilagay yung times 4. Huwag nyo nang kopyahin sa gilid kasi baka magkamali pa kayo nang kukopyahin. Dito na mismo. So, 5 times 4 is 20. Last digit rule, 0. Meron mang ibang tatapos sa 0. Wala naman, B lang, so your answer becomes letter B. Just like that. See how fast that is? Wala pang limang segundo, ina-explain ko pa kasabay kayo. Kaya pagdating sa araw ng exam, huwag kayo matatakot sa word problems. Tagalugin nyo, tapos i-apply nyo lahat na natutunan ninyo, including the last digit rule, in order for you to answer these questions really, really fast. Alright, I hope you learned something new today. If you did, click thumbs up. Again, uh, I'm going to be making a lot of other videos and this is just a teaser for those of you who are part of the online review program. Don't forget to answer the exercise below sa inyong uh, learning experience para makuha ninyo kung anong gagawin, anong gagawin ninyo sa mga dito klaseng tanong. And happy learning guys. Keep learning, keep praying, keep believing. Kaya niyan, aja aja. And I'm always praying for you.